If someone tells you that they've never had a problem with their RV, there's a good chance that they've either A, never driven the coach, or B, they're lying to you. As far as I know, all of these RVs are bound to have some problems at some time. I've made a lot of videos about all of the problems on my RV. I haven't made any follow-up videos in a while, so I wanted to make a video today telling you guys the latest problems on my Tiffin Phaeton. Last time I made a video about any problems, I was up in Eugene, Oregon. Now I'm down here in LaBelle, Florida, hanging out at River Landings Motor Coach Resort, uh, enjoying this nice weather. I know it's been cold in other parts of the country right now, so I'm definitely definitely have a lot to be thankful for. And speaking of being thankful, I've got to give a huge shout out to the RV Glass Guru for sponsoring this video. The RV Glass Guru offers large one-piece windshield replacements. They have a team of installers throughout the state of Arizona, as well as a nationwide network. RV Glass Guru offers additional discounts to veterans and first responders. Appreciate RV Glass Guru helping me pay the bills, keep these wheels turning. You know, this diesel fuel isn't cheap here. So, so going back to my coach. So I've driven it about 3,000 miles since I've had any problems. Now, in the last video, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had kind of a smell. I had a water leak behind the refrigerator, and I knew that there was some water trapped underneath the refrigerator. So... Well, I found more than that. So they did pull out the refrigerator, take out all the, the, the water damage there. I did find too, there was a little leak right here and you can see that's the water rundown. I did have my buddies over at Premier RV of Oregon seal, uh, reseal the, the roof. They found the leak up there. I had them go through everything the last time it was in Oregon. So I literally had every square inch of this coach tight. I'm a detail guy, so I like my stuff perfect. Um, I'll show you outside here some of the first problems that I've had just driving this coach 3,000 miles. So anytime you put 3,000 miles, especially on like a production RV, there's probably gonna be something. I mean, you may not always have problems, but just little stuff. And then the older it gets too, um, the more stuff kind of rattles apart. So I would say an RV, a production RV, probably wears more between 40 and 50,000 miles than it does between 10 and 20,000 miles, if that makes sense. Um, just once it's kind of, the more it gets rattled down the road, the more stuff kind of starts to fall apart. So I, there's a bunch of little stuff in here. We'll go outside first here. And it is a beautiful day here at River Landings. It's a little overcast right now. It was blue skies and sunshine this morning. Um, I will say coach is definitely, uh, definitely looking good. I've got the wheels freshly polished. Uh, just had a coat of wax put on it out here in Florida. Um, it really is a nice coach but i want to show you one of the first uh little problems that i recently noticed so this right here when i was driving it i could kind of hear something kind of flapping and what happened is there's basically some screws right here that hold this fiberglass in well you can see that it's completely broken through so there needs to be something kind of molded back in there to hold that all in place but for now it's just limsy there so definitely pretty annoying but not the end of the world um on the outside of the coach my awning is just i don't know what it's doing but there's a little gap up there um it should be a little more flush um you know i'll show you one of the other problems that i haven't had fixed yet on it too uh just a little crack right here really common on tiffins uh, what i've seen them do is repair it and then put like a belt kind of a piece right here so it all ties together but really not not that big of a deal there's no water coming through it that i know of oh man she's looking good out here in florida i'll tell you what this coach definitely likes likes this florida weather So yeah, the outside of the coach is in pretty pretty good condition. You know, I really try to go over it and keep it nice and waxed. I can't complain. Oh yeah, the uh, the awning rip too. So that's one thing I forgot about. I've got it like bungee corded up up there because that awning topper actually ripped. So it was flapping while I was going down the road. Forgot about that. That was actually a huge pain. Let's go inside, see what's going on. 
again thanks to palacios on the remodel it really coach is still looking good and i'm enjoying this nice view at river landings uh i've got to give these guys a shout out to this uh back shield they did send one of these to me for free i checked it out this is not paid by them rv glass guru is the only sponsor of this video but they saw in one of my videos that i talked about like how i have back pain i don't like to you know i don't talk about it a lot but i think i mentioned it in one video because i was editing laying on my back or something but the, someone from back shield uh, reached out to me and sent me this and it actually did make a difference i've had it for about six months now and I've driven across country several times with and without it. And it just kind of makes me kind of sit up more straight or whatever it does. I have less back pain. Now, it doesn't like completely eliminate back pain. That's a whole different story. But um, it definitely made it when driving my motor home for a long day, it used to just kind of throw out my back where now it's actually pretty good. So huge thanks to Backshield. I'll leave a link to these in the description below. But let me keep showing you guys all my problems here. All right, let's get some lights turned on in here. Okay, so little stuff like this uh, outlet right here. Um, I got that fixed, that Premier, but it just keeps, I already fixed this, but what happens is this tab just keeps popping out. So like it's in there right now, but it, uh, I, I, I don't know why it's not, not working. Oh, uh, this is my new logo too. What do you guys think? Uh, huge thanks to, my good buddy Dean Laux for designing this logo. Uh, hope, hoping to get some merch uh, made up here. There's one of Dean's hats there, but huge thanks to Dean for that. So um, outlets broken. This is the other thing. So here's what happened is I was laying on my couch, kind of where that, kind of using that blanket as a pillow, and I accidentally kicked this little piece right here usually stays like this and I accidentally just kicked it off. Now, this is another thing that's really annoying me with my coach. All this wallpaper is just starting to peel and that's kind of part of, you know, owning a 10 year old diesel pusher. Uh, same thing, kind of up in this corner, you can see a little bit of wallpaper. Um, it's just, just everywhere it's doing that. And the more it flexes and goes down the road and the heat just kind of, just kind of, you know, it's just part of the game. So wallpaper is, is one of the other things that's kind of uh, irritating me. Um, chassis wise, Coach has been running strong. I did all the maintenance on it. I can't complain about the chassis at all. It's been running really good. Everything's golden up here. They had readjusted the door, so now it opens and shuts a lot better. Same stuff with that wallpaper. Uh, back of the Coach. Oh, that's right, this thing right here. So just forgot about this. So I have this just set right here, and that's actually come off a couple times. What this is, is when that slide out comes in, it's kind of like on a roller right back here. And so it just blocks all of the, the gears and the mechanisms of the slide outs, just to give it a better aesthetic look. But that fell off somehow. It's just kind of falling apart on me. Um, I did tell you guys how I got all the, the smell, so it doesn't smell bad in here. It kind of had that little bit of moist smell. Premier fixed that up in Oregon before I came down here to Florida. Um, back here in the bedroom. So, oh yeah, this little piece right here. And this is all kind of, you can see, it's just kind of, kind of falling apart, you know, just from going down the road. Um, and what happened? Well, this was this was actually my mistake. I was sleeping at a truck stop and I had all the slide outs in. So basically what happened is like I'm a tall guy. So when all this is in, you know, my pillows there and my feet were literally right here. And I was just kind of accidentally like kind of kicking on this little piece right here and I knocked it off. So partly user error, but it shouldn't have fallen off so easily. But other problems. So that's kind of uh that's kind of it, you know, nothing too major, just a bunch of little stuff. Um, that wallpaper is really bugging me. But other than that, Coach is holding up well. Um, I think I might have some other plans, though. Um, I'm thinking about trading this Coach in, actually. I actually already have a deal to trade it in, so I'm going to be trading it in here tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to make another video kind of showing the whole kind of process of it. So... Um, this video, I just kind of wanted to show you guys the latest problems on this coach in case you do see it come on the market. Now, 
I'm not going to be selling it myself. I'm going to make another video all about my reasoning for trading it into a dealer versus selling it. And that's going to be one I got a lot of explaining to do here, guys. So you want to make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss that video. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. That's the latest problems with my RV. It's always something with one of these things, but if those are the biggest problems I got, I'm doing very good. A lot to be thankful for, for sure, especially all of you that watch these videos and kind of make this all possible. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.